The murder of Guang Na was one of the most high-profile cases in Singapore in the early 2000s. It is notable for the extensive media coverage, the public reaction, and the public debate that ensued. The face of the missing eight-year-old girl was splashed across the newspapers. It was this image and the story behind it that moved Singaporeans into a nationwide search, one that would ultimately end in tragedy. Huang Na was born in 1996 in Putian, Fujian Province, China. Huang Na was the eight-year-old daughter of Wang Shuying, who came to Singapore from China in 2003 and worked in a wholesale center in Pasir Panjang, Singapore. Her mother, Wang Shuying had to return occasionally to Putian to take care of her other child, but Wang Na was known to be an independent spirit who could take care of herself. On the day of Wang Na's disappearance on October 10, she called her mother to request for a computerized dictionary and a pair of sandals, and that last call lasted for about six minutes. Wang Na was last seen at 1 p.m. on October 10, 2004, at a food court near her home. Her disappearance was first made public after four days, and the police urged anyone with information to come forward. An avalanche of help poured in from all quarters to aid the search. Taxi company Comfort Delgro asked its drivers to keep a lookout for the girl, and a retired businessman even offered $10,000 reward to anyone who could provide information on Huang Na. The search ended three weeks later when the little girl's body was found at a park near where her mother worked. 24-year-old Tuk Leng Hao, a fellow colleague and close friend of Wang Shuying, was charged with the murder. Tuk had previously shared a flat with her in Clementi, and he often gave Wang Na rides on his motorcycle and would buy food for her. According to the prosecution, Tuk Leng Hao stomped and smothered Wang Na to death after sexually assaulting her. Wang Na's mother refused to believe that Tuk was the abductor of her daughter as he was known to be friendly with the victim. However, suspicions grew when Tuk escaped to Penang, Malaysia on October 21, before he was due to undergo a lie detector test. Police put out a search for him, but Tuk eventually turned himself in on October 30 after being persuaded by his father to surrender to the police. On October 31, 21 days after she disappeared, Huang Na's badly decomposed body was found stuffed inside a brown cardboard box at Telok Blanga Hill Park. Tuk admitted strangling Huang Na with his bare hands in Unit 01-44, a storeroom in Block 15 at the wholesale center. He had lured the girl into the storeroom for a game of hide-and-seek. According to court testimonials, Tuk stripped Huang Na naked and bound her limbs together with raffia strings. Tuk sexually assaulted Huang Na and to ensure that she would not report him, Tuk smothered Huang Na by covering her mouth and nose for at least two minutes. After she died, Tuk wrapped Wang Na's body in nine layers of plastic bags and placed her inside a cardboard box which he then sealed with adhesive tape. The box was eventually dumped at Telok Blanga Hill Park. Tuk did not testify during the trial as his lawyer, Subhas Anandan, submitted that he was schizophrenic and hence was no competent to take the stand. Anandan argued that Tuk was mentally disturbed, citing his hallucinations. However, the prosecution added that Tuk was systematic and methodical in planning Huang Na's murder, which showed that he was not mentally disturbed. They also pointed out that although Tuk initially denied any involvement in the case, he made 18 confessions on different aspects of the murder, giving a clear indication that he was rational. Tuk had also admitted to sexually assaulting Huang Na and disposing her clothes in a nearby rubbish dump that did not have any security cameras. Tuk was convicted of Wang Na's murder and was sentenced to death. He appealed against the conviction and death sentence with the Court of Appeal, but it was rejected. One of the three appeal judges, Justice Kansas Ting Chiu, pointed out that there was no conclusive evidence to show that Tuk had killed Wang Na by smothering her. However, the other two judges disagreed with him, resulting in the rejection of Tuk's appeal. Tuk's relatives then sought signatures in support of a petition to the president for clemency. Despite gathering 35,000 signatures within four months, the plea of clemency to the president was rejected. Thuk Leng Hao was hanged within Changi prison at dawn on 3 November 2006, two years after the murder. Meanwhile, Huang Na's mother returned to China after that, and it was reported that she is now running a shoe distribution business in Taiwan.